Hello friends, this video on water part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are Introduction, Uses of Water, Sources of Water wherein we will talk about groundwater and rainfall, Water cycle, Significance of Water, Drought, Conservation of Water, Rainwater Harvesting. Water something which is very important for our survival. Now, what are those things for which we think of water? We feel thirsty, we drink water. So, will you be able to uh, live without drinking water? No, right? So, if you do not drink water for a couple of hours, maybe for five, six hours, what happens? You start feeling uncomfortable, you feel thirsty, you could feel dryness inside your body. And if that persists for a longer time, it can cause more problems. So we need, our body needs water for its survival. So water is something which is very, very important, not only for us, but for all living organisms for their survival. So we can say that water is precious. Now, in our day-to-day -day life, if we look at the uses of water, where all do we use water? So we need water for drinking, we need water for cooking. For example, how do we boil vegetables? We need water. Even to prepare any curry or to prepare the dough, we need water. So for cooking, water is needed. For bathing, for cleaning our clothes, for drinking, for making tea, coffee, juices. So everywhere we have water. So in our day-to-day -day life, water plays a very crucial role. So forget about how water is important for our survival. Just think of the activities that we do on a daily basis. We will not be able to do them if there is no water. So we need sufficient amount of water around us. Only then we will be able to carry out the basic activities of life. Now not only our household activities, water also plays a crucial role in industries and factories. So in industries, water is used for washing and cleaning purposes, for cooling purposes, because in industry, you know, a lot of, whether you talk about industry or factory, a lot many substances get heated, a lot of heat is there. So in order to produce some cooling effect, water is used. So water finds its application in a lot of factories and industry. If you talk about a paper factory, so water acts as a, a very important raw material. Without water, the factory cannot run. So with the process of paper manufacture, water plays again a very crucial role. If you talk about agriculture, so water can act as a coolant. It can also be used for washing or cleaning purposes. So that's how it is useful in various industries and factories. Now, if you talk about agriculture, so in agriculture again, water plays a very crucial role. So, in for cultivating crops on such a large scale, so that's what we do in agriculture. So, we cultivate crops. Now, every plant needs water for their growth. So, watering each and every plant is very crucial, otherwise the plants would die. Now, think of your own garden. So, if you do not water the plants in your garden, what would happen to them? the plants would eventually die. So when we talk about agriculture, it is like a, a huge uh, stretch of land with a lot of plants over it. Now, if you stop providing water to all of those plants, what would happen? They would not give you any crops. So in agriculture, it is very important that the field is given proper supply of water so that the field can support the growth of plants over it. So this process of supplying water to the crops during cultivation, that is known as irrigation. Now there are various methods these days of providing water to the plants, but uh, in India especially, uh, agriculture is largely dependent on rainfall. So rainfall is from where the water comes to the fields. So in this way, we see that water plays a crucial role in different spheres of life, 
it plays crucial role in the uh, life processes that take place inside the body of living organisms it plays a crucial role in our day to day activities household activities like washing cleaning uh, cooking etc it plays a critical role in industries and factories as well as agriculture and agriculture is the process by which our food is prepared so if there is no agriculture we will not get anything to eat so in every important sphere water is needed so water is important for life now as i was telling that it is not only the human being who needs water all animals insects birds microorganisms all of them need water for their survival so you you think of any kind of living organism whether it is plants or animals or insects or aquatic animals everybody needs water so we can see that water is important for life So now the next question is how much water do we need? So we saw that we need water for a variety of purpose for cooking, drinking, washing, bathing, etc. But the question is how much exactly water do we need? Now it is when we say we, each member in our family needs water either to wash, cook, bath, drink, etc. Therefore, more members we have in a family, more water is needed. because each member will need water for each of these activities when it is food so if you have 10 members in a family you need to prepare larger amount of food so that would need larger amount of water if there are only two members in a family you need to prepare less food so there will be less water that is needed so each of these activities would need water and the more number of people that exists in a family the more amount of water you would need so if it is a small family you would need less number of water but if it is a bigger family you would definitely need more and more water so basically how much water it we need depends on how many people do we have in our family now you would have often heard people saying that water is very precious no that's very true in the last few slides we saw that water is extremely crucial so and we have a limited supply of water we will learn about that a little later so if the consumption of water increases too much in that case we might arrive at a situation where there will be scarcity of water where there would be insufficient water so again that is going to cause us problem because we cannot survive without water end of the day so it is uh, very important that unnecessarily uh, children are not being born unnecessarily do not prefer to have a very big family where there are 10 children or 12 children so a smaller family would need smaller water a smaller amount of water and that would help everyone thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again